Hi, it's Monday. And before I get into my thought, I just want to thank you for watching, but especially for sharing. Man, this internet is a small world, and the Adventist world also, Christian world is small. Uh, through, through these videos, I was able to reconnect with a high school friend, Paul Thomas Clark, and we're praying and, and talking every day. I was able to connect with uh, the wife uh, of, of one of my youth in Brooklyn. She says, you don't know who I am, but you were my husband's youth pastor in the 90. But the one that touched me this weekend was uh, one of my young adults when I was a youth director in New Jersey. And she reaches out to me and, and she says, good to watch you, it's good to hear from you. And so we started talking and I said, well, how's your walk? Are you still going to church? And she goes, I stopped going to church. It's been two years now. And I don't go to church because of the hypocrites. And man, I've heard this over and over in my ministry, how people don't come to church because the church is full of hypocrites. And I'll be the first one to say, yes, full of them. God hates hypocrisy. And this is why on Monday, of, the, of his last week on earth, after he was praised on Sunday. Hosanna, Hosanna, right? He goes, he leaves, he goes back to Bethany. But on Monday, he comes to the church. And it says here in Luke chapter 19, verse 45, when Jesus entered the temple court, he began to drive out those who were selling. It is written, he said, my house will be a house of prayer, but you've made it a den of robbers. See, cleansing of the temple illustrates God hates hypocrisy. It illustrates how much God is concerned with the purity of our worship. Let me remind you, the temple does not exist anymore, at least the one in Jerusalem. But the Bible says, Paul says in 1 Corinthians 6, 19, that now the body, our body, is now the temple of God. And the question I have for, for us is what is hindering you from having a closer walk with God? What is hindering you from having a pure worship with God? What are the things that are holding you back? Because the Bible says, right, that, that every day he was teaching at the temple. The last week of Jesus, after he cleansed the temple, he went to the temple every day to teach. God has something to teach us every day. But we have to allow him to cleanse us, to remove anything and everything that is hindering us from having an experience, a pure experience of worship with him. So allow him today to cleanse you. And that's just my thought as I sit in my yellow chair. God bless you.